SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays uh, Robotrek. And we're following a recently rescued Carl to the treasure here. What? What was that? Uh, uh. Obliged to you? Huh? I'll just take what's over here. Litho? Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling that no matter which one you pick, it's always going to be Scrap, and that he ends up with whatever is in that thing. I guess it's supposed to be that Tetron stuff they're talking about. We just can't recognize it yet. That's my guess, anyway. Anyway, let's get out of here. That's all we can do here. And just in case, you know, you forgot how to get out of here, I'll show you. Yeah, this is one way to get out of here. Okay, f the um, you just dive in the river here. So you don't have to backtrack all the way through the, the, the thing, through the dungeon. And you just get out here, and out the front door you go. And we edit our way back to the map. So, let's go home. There's a few things we can do. We can talk to Carl's mom at the mayor's office. Let's talk to this kid. He says nothing new. A cute customer. He needs the need, the possessive of need. Let's save, and she's probably talking about Carl. Yep, there he is. What? What? It's like exhibit D as to why uh, this game can be hard to follow sometimes. And anyway, we get stone one. I really don't know what this does. We'll find out, I guess, eventually. Oh, goodbye. Sure, okay. All right, are there any other books here? I think level seven should be up here. Punch one. I don't think I'll be needing that. And give me a hint. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Why wasn't this the hint? Thank you. Okay, so yeah, you're supposed to go to your dad's house. But let's talk to Carl's mom real quick, see if she does anything. Says anything new. Oh, that's, that's great to hear. Ah, okay. Sure, I'll visit him. Do I do that now? I guess I can do that now. I don't remember where he lives. Is it over here? <laughs> Ring the doorbell and then just walk in. You are not Carl. I'm guessing by the way the text scrolls there that she talks really fast and like shrill and stuff. And there's nothing up here. Stella's house. Stella! Is this Carl's house? No, this is not Carl's house. What's with this guy? Eh, he's got problems, I guess. That's my house. Is this Carl's house? Isn't this riveting viewing? This is Carl's house. Okay. This is probably why doing an RPG can be problematic as a Let's Play. Especially if you don't you know, do test runs and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Openly talking about how terrible I am with this. Is this all he says? What was the point of that? Okay, let's go to my dad's house then. See what's going on there. I have a feeling I know what's coming next. I think it's the graveyard thing. Anyway, yeah, the point of this Let's Play is to get other people into the game. Because I think it's a good game. It's not to, like, show off. It's not a walkthrough or anything like that. Hey, the cat's shoving me out of the way. What the hell? Don't yell at me. Uh-oh. Hmm. They seem very freaked out about something. Okay. What, what scared them off? Hmm. Aha, there's a letter. Thank you, cat.
what I say whenever I leave. So he's talking about you should visit the family at the graveyard. Is there anything else back here? Any of these books? Level one? Okay, no. Yeah, what he says every time you leave is visit the grave or visit the cemetery or whatever. So that's what you're supposed to do. And if you remember, the cemetery is way over here. Or at least not a cemetery, but the grave is over here. Check it out. Hey, there's a gap. And it turns out it can open so we can walk right into the grave, I guess. Spooky music. Uh-oh, we got a new enemy here. It's a monk. And it's a fire. It's it's a flame. Yeah, see, you can see the uh, power of that axe there. It's pretty crazy. Okay, that's a really dark joke. Whatever, I'm not going to comment any further on that. A monk, and it's a flame. Okay, is there anything up here? Apparently not. What's the point of that? There's a door up there, but let's check down here first. Wow, that battle took quite a bit out of me. I went through Larry, died, Leonard died. It was three of those flames. Totally kicked my ass. Let's use a repair to bring back Leonard. Actually, no, let's hold on to it for now. I don't think I need him quite yet. Let's check out what's up here. Hmm. Whoa. What's this? Rask, like Raskolnikov? Aha. <laughs> just evil men. Nobody in particular, just Count Prinky? Forest of Illusion. I wonder where they got that name. Anything back here? Nope. So, that must unlock the next part of the map. Yeah, anytime you leave the room and come back, the enemies come right back too. It's kind of annoying. Let's check and see what's over here. Sheesh, another freaking tough battle. Those things do not screw around. If you ever need to level up, do it down here. These things are hard. All right, let's... Uh, man, I really got my ass kicked by those things. Maybe I should level up some more. That's the thing about this game. You do need to grind quite a bit. It, it is easy to get under-leveled. The game... Yeah, it unlocks the next part. The game is pretty fair, fairly balanced. Uh, or fairly unbalanced, I should admit. Um... I need to go get more uh, stuff from the shop. First, I want to save. Or first, I guess the easiest thing before I buy stuff would be to bring him back the old-fashioned way instead of uh, doing maintenance. Yeah. Or, or instead of uh, using a repair. I do need a lot more repairs, though. Damn. If that's going to be what I'm facing in the future, yeah. Don't forget to go to Crispy Shop over here. The Shop of Crisps and buy a bunch of shit. By the way, I completely forgot that off camera or off screen, I wasn't recording when I at the time when I was grinding, but I went back here and it the guy talks about all sorts of stuff and um, there's free stuff in the back of the room. It's scrap two and scrap four, I think, and you can eventually use those to, uh, <clears throat> you can eventually use those to combine with other things to create new weapons. I'm not sure what exactly in particular, but um, I'll, I'll find out as I play along, I guess, and experiment with stuff. Anyway, I think I'm going to call this an episode. Let's, uh, I don't think I can do anything here yet. Nope. So uh, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.